Hi, this is the Primary Professor with a three minute video tip. Today I'm gonna to do a quick little video on an Edmodo overview, the collaborative classroom community. Today I'm gonna to talk about two things, how I organize my Edmodo, and the second one, I'm gonna do a quick talk on the six ways that I use it in my classroom. This is gonna be really short, so let's get started. First, I just wanna explain how I set up my Edmodo. I actually create a different group for all the subjects I teach. And as a fifth grade teacher, I teach all subjects and I pretty much use Edmodo in all subjects, so I have all the subjects listed here that I teach. Additionally, I have an extra homework blog that the kids all have access to and our main group, Fun and Fabulous and Fit. So now I wanna explain how I mainly use Edmodo in my classroom. I'm gonna give it just a short little intro to each of the six ways. The first way is I give kids access to information. So as an example of this, I'm gonna take you to math. Here on math, I can post videos, websites, PDFs that the kids can all access. My second tip is that kids can share work and ideas collaboratively, either with the whole class or with the team. And for this example, I'm gonna to go to science. Here students can share their movies, they can share keynote presentations, they can even share information that they're writing that they need to share with other group members in their team. My absolute favorite way of using Edmodo is for peer editing and writing. I have students post their paragraphs, maybe one or two paragraphs of one of their essays into Edmodo, and then other students can comment in ways that are kind, helpful, and specific to give them ideas of how they can improve their writing. The fourth and fifth way that I use Edmodo are through assignments and quizzes. And in an assignment, you can create an assignment and then kids can share their work in the assignment. And then only the teacher has access to their work and you can actually give them a grade that then goes into their Edmodo grade, grade book. Also, there are quizzes. You can create quizzes that are multiple choice, fill in the blank, true, false, and kids can take the quiz, it grades it for them, and it gives their score in the grade book. Um, the last thing, number six, that I, we use every day in our class is our homework blog. And here we have a homework blogger is one of our class jobs. And she takes a picture of our homework board, posts what the homework is for the night. It's just a really great way. Students have no excuse for not knowing their homework because it's always posted in our Edmodo homework blog. Those are the six ways that I use Edmodo in my classroom. I hope you learned something. And if you like this video, I would love to hear from you. So please head on over to theprimaryprofessor.com and leave me a comment. Thank you so much.